Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Hi, this is Tampa Tech. I'm going to show you how to fix a no audio issue on your laptop, PC, computer, whatnot. All right, so first thing I would do is plug in headphones. Plug in your headphones right here in this input in your headphone jack. If you're not getting any sound using headphones or PC computer speakers, then um, it's internal problem. If you are getting sound, however, it could be a problem with your internal speakers and your laptop. So that's a couple different ways you could do this. Another thing you could do is go on the start button right here and then in the search, you could go ahead and type in, I think it's uh, speakers, speakers. And then uh, actually adjust system volume. That's it. Sorry about that. And then see if that is muted. Okay. So actually, there's two. If you notice, one for, for the device sound and one for the application sound. There's two different volumes. So you want to make sure those are turned up. All right. Um, and again, make sure those are not muted. Next out of that. On the bottom right, right here, you'll notice. There's a little um, picture of a speaker. You can click on that and it should have a volume sound right here. Make sure it's not muted right here. Um, and you also you can click on the mixer and it'll pull up. That's a shortcut. And X out of that. Now, right here, you could right click it. And when you right click it, you go in advanced options, the property settings. Okay? So you want to make sure that if this doesn't have, if this has an exclamation point or just something up here, you can right click it and you can troubleshoot it. All right, so it should auto correct itself. Another thing you could do is uh, click on this right here. Type in device manager. Yeah, device manager right here. Click on that, device manager, scroll down to where it says sound, sound and video, click on that. And then you'll notice right here, you got a couple of audio um, decoder drivers. You can right click them, disable and enable them if you don't know which one it is. Never uninstall it. So you could disable it. and then enable it. That's reset. And you can do the same thing for this one. You can disable it. And you can enable it. Also, if uh, you can update it too, but you have to be connected to the internet. All right, and then, so when you right click it again, you'll say disabled, but it's not really disabled. You're choosing to disable it, so it's actually enabled right now all right and um, next thing you can also check if that doesn't cure your problem what I would do is again go to the start button hit audio type in audio uh, device I think it's called audio device right here manage audio devices click on that you want to make sure it's defaulted to your speaker headphones which on my case is IDT high definition audio Kodak. See? That's my default device. See how it's green right there? You want to make sure that it's defaulted to your PC speakers and not your Bluetooth headset or your HDMI out. Alright? So you want to make sure that it's the right thing. You can right click it, by the way. And you can also configure your speakers or test it. That's how you test it. And then configure. Right here. See? And hit next. See? Front speakers. And this is how you're just configuring it. And finish. And hit OK to save it. So anyway, those are a few steps you could take to fix your audio. It's usually software settings or something stupid. It's very rare that your audio will actually go out unless your computer is older. And in that case, you would actually have to open up your computer to fix that problem. 
which is a whole other video. Thanks for watching, post a comment, and subscribe to Tampa Tech. Post a comment if you have any further questions. I'll go ahead and answer them.